Hello and welcome to Cooking with Miss Brenda. I'm so glad you joined us today. I have with me a very special guest and friend. Raquel is back with us today. Thank you so much for being Aww, with us, Raquel. Thank you so much for having me, Miss Brenda. It's an honor. <laughs> she is an amazing cook. For those of you who were uh, joined us before when Raquel was on, then you may remember that your family actually owns a restaurant. Yes, yes, and, we do. And so maybe you can tell us a little bit about yourself because there was always new viewers every single day. <laughs> and so tell us a little bit. How old are, how are yeah. you? I am 16 years old, and I am a high schooler and homeschooler. Okay, and you like being homeschooled? Yes, I love being homeschooled. I definitely recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us a little bit about your, because you're an amazing chef. Oh. <laughs> and and you, you've you learned to cook. Your mom taught you how to cook. Yes, my mom and grandma taught me how to cook. Um, we have a local family restaurant called Ahi, um, and I learned at home. And and um, for that's in College Dale, Tennessee? Yes, College Dale, so Tennessee. So if anybody wanted to come there, they could just, how do you spell it? Because you say it differently than what I thought it spelled. <laughs> it's it's A-J-I, Ahi Peruvian Restaurant. That's right. And what type of dishes do you have there? Uh, we have very authentic Peruvian dishes. Like yes. what, for instance? Like arroz uh, chafa, which is like a stir fry. Um, we have lomo saltado, which is like a sautéed. You can have meat or veggie meat. We have a lot of vegetarian and vegan options as well. So do you have relatives in Peru? We do. We have many relatives in Peru. So, I've visited a couple of times. So why don't you say something in, in the language they're going to understand and say something to your relatives in Peru. Um, hola. <laughs> <laughs> and that means hello. I that know that. Hello, but, yes. <laughs> but, but go ahead and send, send them a nice sweet message. What would uh, you say? Muchos besitos. Te amo. <laughs> and what did you say? I said lots of kisses. I love you. Oh, that is so sweet. And, and which relatives would you be sending that to? Uh, my aunts and uncles and grandmas. Oh, that's wonderful. Do you get to go over there very much? Yes. Uh, I was there just last March. Um, I haven't been able to go since of COVID, um, but yes. Oh, wonderful. Well, today we are making, uh, not something from Peru, but we should probably do that. Next time you come, <laughs> we'll do it. let's yes. have you do a dish from Peru. Would you do oh, that for us? I would love to, yes. All right, Melissa's here today. She's our general manager for Kids Cover Jesus. Melissa, let's book Raquel to come back and have her demonstrate a recipe from her country and maybe something you serve at the restaurant. Yes. That would In be fact, awesome. if you wanted your mom to come with you, she could. That, I would love that. Would you love that? Yes. Wouldn't you guys love that? Uh, to, to have an action, an authentic uh, Peruvian dish. I think that'd be amazing. That would be awesome. But today we're actually making a recipe that I created. Um, a little while ago, and in fact, Melissa and I, we, we, after we had it for our lunch, we were like, this is so good. Why have, we, have, we should make this more often. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've created so many recipes over the years that sometimes, you know, we don't, it's been years since we've, you know, had it again. And so um, I, this is one of those recipes I'm going to put bump up to my must-have um, oh, yeah. uh, list because it is absolutely amazing. It is a Thai sweet potato veggie burger. I'm really excited to try this. <laughs> it has it has um, quinoa in it. Mm. And uh, do you like quinoa? I love quinoa. Actually, um, last time I was in Peru, we saw um, quinoa growing and we stopped to take pictures. It was really amazing. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, so lots of quinoa is grown in Peru. Yes, lots of quinoa. Oh, well, I didn't even know that, so that's, <laughs> that's, that's good to know. Well, this I know it's packed with nutrition. Do you know it, yes. any of the health benefits from quinoa? I don't necessarily, but I know it's very nutritious, and we've always had it growing up. It, uh, it is really good for you. So it's got sweet potatoes in it. We have quinoa in it. We have oats. We have peanuts. And, um, it's, and we also have... Um, uh, chickpeas, coconut milk, cilantro. I don't. I don't need to give you all the ingredients because. Um uh, let me have that recipe over there because this recipe you can download off our website so that you don't even have to write things down. If you go to kidsclubforjesus.org, kidsclubforjesus.org, you'll not only find our Thai sweet potato veggie burger, but you, all the recipes we've ever done on the program, you will find there. And in fact, I'm going to come out with a new cookbook soon featuring all of our recipes. Wow. So, um, so yeah, so... Look at look at that kidscupforjesus.org. Click on recipes, and all of our recipes are there. So to get started, there's kind of a few different steps. None of this is hard. 
just a few good steps. We are already started. You can kick that up a little bit and make it a little bit. Uh, we started sauteing the onion because anybody that has followed me at all um, over the years knows that I really don't like raw onions. Oh, no. Me neither. I do exactly either. the oh, same. I love them cooked. Yes. Love I can only cooked. eat them cooked. <laughs> yep. But if I, I literally never met a raw onion that I like. I've never no. eaten one. <laughs> nope. Nope. I don't like it. But let me get started here on our live while you're stirring and okay. cranking that up. And we'll uh, see who has already joined us today. Um, let's see here. And it's coming up. It's I don't know why it's being so slow. Um, maybe it, maybe it's not that. Maybe it's I did push the wrong button. So I'm going to let. It's slow today. It is slow today. I wonder if we should have rebooted our uh, internet. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll see. And just while that's coming up, um, I'll welcome to everybody in a minute. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep getting that. Let's see. That's getting almost clear. So mm -hmm. that's looking good. What we're going to add is I've taken sweet potatoes and we have grated them. These are raw sweet potatoes that have been grated. So I'm just going to add that right Ooh. there. If you would just um, yep. scooch all the rest of that out. And we are going to, and you are going to saute that until they're cooked. And so let's get all that out because my mom's watching in the other room. See, she's, and she's always taught us kids that you had to get everything out yes. for the last drop. Yes. In fact, you know, she, my mom shared something with me that, oh, now we're coming on. Um, my mom shared something with me uh, about, um, I was washing dishes last night and my mom was sitting at the counter here and I, I was like, you know what mom, I love to cook, I love to bake, but I really don't like, I've never liked washing dishes. And she taught me something last night that um, my grandma Mischief taught her. And she said my grandma uh, uh, said to her that she never minded washing dishes. And I said, really? I said, Grandma Mitchell never minded washing dishes? She said, no. She enjoyed washing dishes. And do you know why? Why? And I said, why? That's what I asked. Because it, washing dishes meant that there was food provided, mm. that there was food. And you see, my grandma grew up in a time of the war, that food was scarce, they didn't oh. always have food. She said, so if you're washing a dish, there was food. There was food. And that made me think of it in a whole different way. Yeah. I about how grateful that I should be so that privileged. I that I yeah, that I had food to cook and I and what a privilege to wash that dish yes. because that meant there was food. There was food. Wow. Is that not incredible? <laughs> I thought that was awesome. So I want to thank my mom for sharing that with me. Um, okay, let's see here. Um, we have joining us. Um, oh, we have Carolyn just joined us from Wausau, Wisconsin. And you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, all of you who have been with us before. I know that I love when you tell me where you're from. And for those that are just joining us for the first time, when you go ahead and say hi, tell us where you're from, where you're watching from. I love to know where you're from. So say hi to Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. So nice to have you with us. And Mish Michelle has joined us and that with Micah and Michaela from Long Beach, California. Say hi to Micah and Michaela. Hi, Micah and Michaela. And um, they read my bedtime stories every day um, for the past few weeks. And Michaela likes the prayed for purse. Oh, do you know, I love that um, story, too. And that was, um, the pictures in that book, The Prayed For Purse, are actually the pictures of my wardrobe director, Lucy Newhart, and her grandchildren. Oh, and wow. so when you go look at those pictures, um, Lucy is somebody that has dedicated so much time to, she sewed all the Bible costumes for our Kids Time Bible Stories. Wow. She would literally sew all year long just to get ready for a three-week shoot. That's I mean, so and nice. she, she's an amazing, amazing woman of God. So um, th you'll appreciate that more. And she sewed that purse, that calico purse. Yes, she did. Uh, Crystal Garver has joined us uh, with Liliana and Audrey from Rainy Loma Linda. Say hi to Lillian and Audrey. Hi, Lillian and Audrey. So nice to have you with us. And I'm sorry, it's raining there. It's really nice here. You should oh, come to God. Tennessee. <laughs> and um, and then, uh, oh, so Mish says, Hola, buenos dias from Michelle in Long Beach. Ah. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, Chris has joined us from Nashville. And she said uh, she may not be able to watch all of it, but she can catch the replay. Thank you, Chris, for joining us. You were Thank so you. faithful. I just love you to death. And um, Sparrow is watching us. Hello, Sparrow Bird Hi, Sparrow. is watching. 
And she says it looks yummy. It is yummy. You guys are going to want this recipe. Because oh, yes. <laughs> guess what? When you serve it on the bun, we're also making a peanut sauce that you put. Mm. You know, so we have your burger already fried and stuff. You put some of that peanut sauce on it. And then, then the bun. That sounds amazing. <laughs> it is so good. Um, Randy Phipps, my good friend Randy. Thank you, Randy. From you, Randy is such a prayer warrior. Oh, Anything man. you w need prayer for, he is such a prayer warrior. And I want to thank you so much for your prayers for our ministry. Uh, that means a lot to me. And he is from Florence, Kentucky. He said he loves uh, cooking and he gets uh, a lot of tips from us. So um, you want to come to Chattanooga to visit sometime? Um, and yes, we would love to have you here. Absolutely. And Erica, the Jones family is watching. Hello, Jones family. Is Hello. all the kids with you too? Uh, let's see. My mom's watching. Also, Joanne Green. Joanne, hello. How are you? Some of you may remember a kid's time. Her son, Sam, has been on since he was a little oh, boy. Child God. preacher. Do you remember, I remember him? Yes. Say hi to his mama. Hi. <laughs> I mean, I that, met Sam. And let me tell you, that, that is um, a mama that has put... God first in her home because mm -hmm. um, you introduced your boy to Jesus mm -hmm. and um, and it shows. And then we have um, uh, la, uh, let's see who is this? Let's see, that's my mom. Okay, and say hi to your mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> and let's see, and um, let's see, and she goes yes, and she says all the kids are there, so that's good. All right, well we're going to get busy here now. I've got to. I've got to get cracking because these are getting these are, done. Ooh, yeah. um, so uh, keep them moving. Okay. I have this amazing garlic press uh, <laughs> that I got in Germany from my oh, wow. uh, friend uh, uh, Gerda von Mauer in Frankfurt, Germany. And I love it. It's the best press I've ever found. Um, and it's, it's the easiest one to clean. And I'm just going to just put that garlic wow. right in there. And you can scooch that right off mm -hmm. of there and stir that into all the mix. Let me see if I can get all of that off. And you get that in there. Yes. And look how the, how neat this is. You don't have to peel this garlic at all. It goes right through the skin. And look how easy it cleans. All of it's right there. Wow. Isn't that nice? That is really yeah. neat. So you can just clean it right there. And it's it's uh, so easy to do. And um, all that garlic you stays. don't have to peel it. Doesn't that smell good? Yes. It smells delicious. I wish you could smell it through the camera. And that garlic is another thing I like cooked. Mm. Yeah, I'm not really fond of raw garlic. No. <laughs> yeah, but some people are. I mean, mm. uh, I, I had somebody, a floor director that worked for me that loved to eat garlic cloves. And when he would uh, be near the kids, the kids would be backing up because he smelled it so bad. Oh, wow. So I said, you know what? Hey, I'm, I'm, when we're recording, no garlic that day, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Ah. And let's see. We say... Um, Oh, Muriel. Say hi, Muriel. Hi, Martha. Muriel. So and nice to have you. She said her and her son are watching you cook, and she says something to you. Why don't you, um, why don't you read that? Let's see. Hola, Raquelita. Me diste ganas de ir a Peru. We're watching from Curacao. Curacao. Maybe I'm not saying it right. Love the way you share God's word while you're cooking. Is oh, that Curacao? Thank you. C U R A C A O. Tell us how you how you say that, and then say hi to Mary. Mary hi, guy is watching Mary. from Northern Michigan, and uh, you guys today. Seriously, this is one of my most favorite veggie burgers to eat mm. and to make. It's really I'm fun. Excited. So keep that going. We've got the garlic, we've got the sweet potatoes, and we have. And it's that about. Let's see if the when the sweet potato is tender. Let me taste it. It's done. It's done. Yeah, it's done. So we can turn that off. Alrighty. And that looks good. So now I'm just going to move this aside. And while um, we're doing that, let me put this in here. Let's take this bowl. And if you would just put the rest of these ingredients, we've got our, our quinoa. Right yeah, you can use this if you on. want. Yes, put your gloves on. And all of this, the oats, the quinoa, the peanuts, the salt, all go in that bowl. Right. And then we're going to move over to the blender. This is um, a Vitamix blender for those of you who've never seen one. And they are so wonderful. Let me just put this down here. Okay, so, and for those of you who don't know what quinoa is, there's many different kinds of quinoa. There's red quinoa, which I put in the recipes. This is actually a tri-color. There's, there's all different colors of quinoa. But can you see that, Mosa? Mm -hmm. And so that you can see there's all different colors of it. And I cook it according to the package directions. That's what you should do uh, because, um, you know, 
you want it to make it come out just right is what I suggest. I use my rice cooker because it comes out perfect every time. That's why I like the rice cooker. Okay, so you've got to put all that together. You can use this to scooch the quinoa in. Okay. And, um, and then we'll just throw that salt in there. Well, let me put this over here. And, and get all that in there. All that quinoa. Yep. That's perfect. And then you can also, I'm going to give you maybe a spatula to do that. Um, you can put all this potato dish stuff right. right in there. Okay. All right. Right. There. And then what I'll do is I'll wipe this out because we're going to fry our veggie burgers in here afterwards. Now you oh. can fry them or you can bake them. Um, you can shape them into patties and put them on a sill pat or a parchment paper or spray up a cookie sheet with a little nonstick cooking spray and bake them in the oven for, let's see what I tell you here to do. So make sure I tell you the same thing. Uh, oh, in a 400 degree oven, you're going to bake them for about 15 minutes and then flip them and then bake them for another 15. Um, I, I do both ways. Some, some of my bake and some of my just fry um, like right here. This is the fastest way to do it. So let's well, tag team it here for you. Thank you. Yep. In fact, maybe I'll do this for you. Oh yes. Does that help Perfect. you get Everything get it, Mom? See, Mom, she's getting it to the last drop. <laughs> yes. And my mom is in the other room today. Um, she is working on an afghan. My mom so crochets the most beautiful, beautiful things. Not, oh, wow. but she's she is actually crocheting an afghan for a very special friend of mine. I'm not going to say who it is. Okay. Um, uh, and it's it's a surprise, and I, she Aww. may be watching. So I don't want to say who it is, but <laughs> um, it's a beautiful, beautiful afghan, and um, and she's almost done with it. Aww. And I'm really excited. So maybe I should, maybe I should, you know, bring it out and let you see it before. Ooh, would you guys would like be... to see it? Let me know. Um, but she's made some beautiful ones for me as well. And they're, they're heirlooms. They're, I'll, I'll ch cherish oh, them always. Yes. Okay. So now we've turned this off and I'm going to just leave this to the side right now because we're going to do our veggie burgers here in a minute. Okay. Now we're going to go um, over here. And we're going to put everything in the Vitamix, which is just a, a name for this super duper blender, which is amazing. I love this. We can put our, our quinoa over here. We don't need that out anymore. So now if you come over here mm -hmm. and you're going to put in um, our chickpeas, chickpeas and we drained the chickpeas. It's just a can of chickpeas. Um, so go ahead and, and put those in. We have some fresh salami. You can just throw that right in the garbage right there. There is some fresh cilantro we're going to put in there. And, um, and then after that, she's going to put in, we have a tablespoon of lime juice, of fresh lime juice. I never use the lime juice in a bottle. There's always an aftertaste to it. Always use fresh. Yes. Um, then we have the liquid uh, bragaminos or soy sauce you can use. And then we also have um, a half a cup of coconut milk. So let me, that's a whole cup. So let me just have you pour right here. Okay. Um, over the thing and just put in, yeah, just put a half cup of it in there. And then a teaspoon of green curry paste. And so you can put that in there and then we're just going to whiz that up. That gets added to our burgers that we're going to mix up together. And Raquel, I'm going to let you just do all that because I think you, she can handle this. Trust me, <laughs> she could, she could run this program. Trust me. So after that, then we will work on our actual peanut sauce that is going to be uh, the condiment that's going over the burger when we serve it. All right, so let's put the lid on, make sure we've got the little yes, piece inside right. of there. And um, and so, ready for this? All right, everybody plug their ears just a moment. Here we go. And I'm gonna just, let's see, let me drop. Um, I think I think we we're missing a um did we put garlic in here we need garlic in here let's see didn't we mm, no chickpeas garlic. cilantro nope no garlic okay so we're good okay. all right so Woo! a 
Okay, why don't you scooch right. some of that down and we'll, well, it still needs to be a little bit more. Okay. So just scooch it down on the sides and mm -hmm. clean the sides of the, uh, the bowl and then we'll uh, whiz it up again. And there's some right over here. Mm -hmm. Yep, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Raquel's father today is with us. His name is Tony, and he promised that next time she comes, he will come on and be a taster for us, okay? <laughs> so we're going to hold him to that, right? Yes, yes. All right, here we go. All right, now we're going to just, you ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now we can take all of that all and right. put it in that bowl, and you can use a spatula to do it, okay? okay? Yes. And all of it goes right in that bowl. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool how you, it, it seems like a lot of steps, but it, it's, it's really, really easy. Simple, it's, yes. not, it's not a hard thing to do at all. While you're doing that, let's see what else everybody else is saying. Um, let's see, Carolyn says that, yes, veggie burgers look so good and healthy, and they are, and... Um, Oh, she's saying that it's pronounced. She write, She says, you write C-U-R-A-C-A-O, but you pronounce it Carrazzo. Is that right? Let's see. Carrazzo. It's an Carrazzo. island in the Caribbean Sea, and it's a Dutch colony. Wow, that's yeah. super cool. Yeah, awesome. I've been all over the Caribbean, but I have not been there. So... And, uh, and Eric... Oh, Erica is saying she'd like to see the Afghans. So, Mom... Um, can, can I come get the Afghan at the end of the day? You let me know if at the end of the program, can I come and get the Afghan and show everybody? I'd love to show them that. All right, so got, got all of that. Yes. Looks wonderful. You did a good job. You did a really good job. Let's see here. Should I mix this all together? Probably mix it all together. Oh, yep, that's what you do. I'm going to just put that down in there. The one thing that's so nice about the Vitamix to, um, to clean it, you just put a little soap in it and you whiz it back up on there and it mm. so soaps it all around, cleans the braid, oh, you dump yes. it out, rinse it, that's it. It's so easy to Very do. Easy, yes. Okay, so, yep, just keep on stirring that together. And if you want, you can just, you know, use your hand to kind of knead it together when you feel like you're ready for that process okay. to just get it all together. And then we're going to shape it into patties, and so we're going to fry it. So I'm going to get the skillet ready. Let me, don't want you to burn yourself on this. So let me just spray this with a nonstick spray right here, and I'll turn this on and get, start getting that hot. And let me get my gloves on here, and you'll you can uh, why don't you get your your hands in there now, and I think okay. and just really mix that up good. Yep, that's good. Mm, smells delicious. Doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Let's yes. gonna put this over here. Okay. Are you guys hungry yet? <laughs> I know what. I had one for lunch and I'm hungry for another <laughs> one. <laughs> it's really, really tasty. Mm. But I love Thai food. And Thai food you usually think of as hot. And if you notice, we didn't put any cayenne pepper in here for a reason, because there's a lot of kids that don't like, and people mm -hmm. that don't like anything spicy. There is just a fourth a teaspoon in that peanut sauce of cayenne pepper. Not enough to make a real big difference. But to give you an idea, um, I made um, a separate uh, Thai burgers. My mom doesn't like much spice either for lunch. So Melissa and I do like the spice. And so we put like two teaspoons of cayenne pepper in our burgers. And, wow. and it didn't taste that hot, did it, Melissa? Not no, not at all. In fact, we said we'd probably double that for next time. Whoa. But t usually you think of Thai hot, you know, that's really Thai food being, being right. hot. And, and, and you can, but even when you go to a Thai restaurant, they'll ask you what heat level you want, you know. And, and Melissa and I will always say, we want, they'll say, do you want one to ten heat level or Thai hot? And we'll always say Thai hot. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so let, this looks really good. So see what nice consistency that is? Mm. All right, so now um, let's just make a nice patty. This makes about a, 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 almost a dozen small patties, but if you're going to make big ones, uh, like a four-inch patty, you're probably going to make six of these out of this recipe. But I'm just going to make a nice one that would fit on a, on a burger. You know, about, that's perfect. And then go ahead and put that down here. And... And we'll fry one more, and then um, 
Let's see, look at this. This also freezes very well. Oh. So sometimes I shape them into patties and I will wrap them in a saran wrap and then in foil and put them in the freezer. And then when you're ready for them, you bring them you out just fresh. Just pop them out. Or yeah. put them in the, in the oven, either way. So it's, it's, um, it's easy to do that. So I'm gonna get you a spatula okay. and we don't need that anymore. So while that is frying, and then that's looking good. Mm. Uh, maybe turn that down just, let's see, yeah, dirty. yeah, I better do that here. Okay. okay, I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit because while that is it's frying, we are going to make our peanut sauce, okay? Mm, yes. And and let's make that one in this one. Okay. Okay, so in this, let me bring over the ingredients for it. We have them over here. And this is what I was thinking of has the garlic. I got a little confused. I thought, wait a minute, I know we got more garlic here. And that's this. So let me get you another spatula. Uh, okay. You can use this one if you would. And all of this goes in here. Mm -hmm. and, uh -huh. okay. and so you can start putting that in there and I'll get your, your garlic going. Right. And look, at, I'm just putting the whole clove. I haven't peeled it at all. And let me just show you how this goes. This here's the clove garlic. Can you see that, Melissa? Lift up. Okay, so I'm, can you see this? Mm -hmm. Look at how this just lifts out. So it's easy to clean. I'm just gonna put the whole clove right in there and just like that. And I won't do it at the camera, but I'm gonna put it in here, okay? So I'll just, just put, put in, maybe I'll just go ahead and put that in here in the peanut butter. So I'm, here's the first one and you can scooch that off of there. Mm -hmm. Oops. Oops, yep, there you go. And look at, so now see how my, my um, I'm gonna show you how this works. See how the, the peel is right there? All I'm going to do is take that off. Look at that, and it's ready for the next one. Look at that. Can you see? I just took that peel right off of there. Okay, I'm going to put it in my garbage over here. I'm not throwing things on the, on the floor over here, I promise. There is a garbage. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to do the next one. Here's the garlic clove with the peeling. Put it in, and I'm just going to toss it right in here. And this is just a little mini food processor. Let me see if I do that. Is that better? Oh, yes. Okay. Perfect. And then again, I'm going to take the, the, put that out, and that's all there is to it. And it's so easy to clean. I'm just going to rinse it off, and it's done deal, just like that. Just finish. Ready, just, ready to go. Just finished putting all the ingredients okay. in. Okay. Uh, perfect. Now, let me put these over here. I'll put okay. these out of the way over here. And... And now I put the lid on. And everybody close their ears for a moment. Go ahead. So now let up and scoot it down and do it again. Yep, perfect. Isn't that good? See, we're almost done. This didn't take that long, <laughs> did it? It's not that bad at all. So let's see how our, our burgers are going. I probably need to turn them up a little bit. I probably got a little bit too shy. But you know what? I'd rather do that than burn them because mm -hmm. I am notorious for if I walk out of the kitchen, uh, something is going to overbake or burn. You know, <laughs> I need to watch what I'm doing. So um, I think there's not a lot of multitasking should take place when you're, when you're you know, do, into cooking and baking, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm just going to put a little more of that nonstick spray. And you can use a little bit of olive oil if you want or canola oil if you want to, co coconut oil. I just use the spray because it's the le least amount of, of fat calories in there. And I like to, the, the fat grams are really the little small thing of peanuts we have in here. So this is such a, a nutrition-packed patty. Um, Blend Let's this again really quickly. Yep, go ahead. It needs to be really smooth. Okay. And you can stop it and check it at any time. Scooch it down again. It might take a couple of times. And let's see who else is joining us. Thank you guys for all your comments and for letting us know where you're from. Um, we have um, uh, my good friend Lois is joining. Lois, you are going to want to watch. Lois and I. Uh, we're Academy roommates together, oh. and uh, it's and she's telling me how to pronounce it, carousel. That's how you say it, carousel. And she said her daughter's father-in-law was working there, and she visited him. Thank you. Okay, that's how you do it, carousel. <laughs> and um, uh, let's see. 
<laughs> Erica saying that's a pretty serious utensil. Where can you find a garlic mincer like that? Um, Melissa will tell you um, there's an Amazon link. Maybe she can put it on there for you so that you can go. Um, I actually got mine in Germany when I was there, but you can order them on Amazon. And I think everybody that's been close to me, I've given them a garlic press for a birthday or a Christmas <laughs> or something because I love this thing so much, as you can tell, you know. Okay, go ahead. All right, let's see. You want to take a little taste and see how we're doing? It should be smooth. Okay. And I'm going to turn over these burgers. I'm just going to spray the tops of them mm. before I flip them. Tastes really good. Is that good? All oh, right. Yes. Then that's good. ready to go. Mm -hmm. And now, here we go. Our burger's about ready as well. We're just, I just turned it over. And um, part of that got over there. Okay. And this is almost done. And I'm going to show you, I have, while that is finishing, um, I'm going to put this out of the way so that you guys can see it. I have one that is already finished, and we can um, have you taste it. Ooh. And I'll let you put the amount of sauce on that you want. Huh? Um, you can put right here. All right. Yep. Just put that. So, um... Here's your, you can put some on each side of your bun or only on the top. It's up to you. I like to put it on both sides of my bun. And I'm just going to turn this down right now because these are frying. But let me put one of these up here so you can kind of see what it looks like. Can you see that heat coming from it too? Is that high enough? Yeah, that's good. And that's kind of, and it's okay for it to get gold, you know, brown, a little brown like that. That's fine. Um, and if you want to do a little oil it won't you it won't have that on there but it doesn't affect the flavor it's it's actually very good so i'm going to put that on there so look at she's done amount? i'm going to show her your your burger look at this doesn't that look good okay so now come over here i'm i'm gonna get this out of the way so that you can you want to we, we can cut it in half for you yes does that make it a little easier yes or or do you want to just pick it up and eat it like that? Sure, I'll take a bite. Okay. So All drum right. roll, please. Here, Here it is, go. looking right in the camera. Mmm. It's right. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, that you guys are going to want to try this burger, aren't they? Oh, yes. It's, it's Don't make it. It's different than anything I've ever uh, made before, and I had a lot of fun creating it. Oh, so yes. it, uh, and Melissa had a lot of fun tasting it. And here's mom. Can you come over here, mom, for a moment? Oh, mom, come on. No, my, she mom. doesn't want to be on camera today. All right, but she beautiful. wants, she's going to let me show you her. Look at this. Can you hold, um, hold this? She's almost done with it. She's got her, her needles right in here. Wow. Look at this. Mom, I think you are done. This is big. I think it's ready for... You're doing the, doing edge, the edge now. <laughs> she's just finishing the edge and she's done. Look, oh. is that not gorgeous? Yes. Oh, I, wow. my mom is so amazing. Next time, mom, you got to come out and, and say hi to everybody. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here she go. Thank you. <laughs> but isn't it not beautiful? Um, so I hope my friend is not watching today because she might figure it out because of the color. So oh. I don't know for sure, but I'm not going to tell. But. Um, she's made these for a few of my friends. I, she made one for me for my dear friend Eva all the way over in um, uh, Tasmania. Uh, she made one for my precious friend Julie and lives in Australia on the Gold Coast. Wow. Um, I've got, she's made one for certain friends of mine. And so I've, I asked her, I said, Mom, would you do another one? I think she's done about 10 or 11 since she's been living with me. So beautiful. Yes. Wow. Yes. And they're for all special people. Very talented. Mm. So do we have any questions for anybody? So Erica, you like that? Isn't that gorgeous? My mom is so amazing. Um, and Chris, you're still with us. Thank you so much. You're going to love to try this. Really, truly, you're going to try. Um, and then, um, uh, uh, oh, and Jennifer loves her. Oh, that's right. My mom made one for Chris's daughter, Jennifer. Oh. There, she's getting married to a very uh, good friend. Jane and uh, Lane and Jennifer are getting married soon. And mom made one for oh, them. That's so, so my sweet. mom is so amazing, yes. isn't she, Chris? All right. Well, do we have any questions left? Any, any questions here at all? Just this is the time to do it. Um, because I know you want to finish your burger. 
Uh, but I want to thank everybody for joining us next week. Melissa, what is our recipe? I think we should do apricot pecan bread next week. Oh, Melissa said we are doing apricot pecan bread next week. Ooh. And I happen to be a lover of apricots. <laughs> it's one of my favorite oh, yes. fruits. Do you like Delicious. apricots? Yes. Love them. In fact, um, there's a place that you can go order the most amazing apricots I've ever, dried apricots I've ever had in my life. And, um, and Melissa gets them for me for my birthday or, Aww. you know, Christmas or, you know, <laughs> I, I, they're amazing. Where do you get those at? I don't even know the name of them. They're um, from California. They're the Apricot King, I think. The Apricot King in California. You can wow. get them online. But, oh, are they, the, they're they really delicious. are the most amazing mm. apricots I've ever had in my life. Mm. Well, this apricot pecan bread. I love pecans, too. Pecan's oh, yes. my favorite nut. Yes. So That's next week delicious. is apricot, a, apricot. <laughs> Apricot bread. I think we Perfect. just named that. <laughs> and, and that's pretty good apricot, apricot bread. You know, that's not bad. Slip of the tongue. I love that. Well, thank you guys for joining us. Yes, and um, thank you. I appreciate um, you joining us each and every week. Tell your friends. To, don't miss out. We're here every Wednesday at 530 Live. And uh, also join us for Praise and Worship every Sabbath at 5.30. I'm at the piano playing your favorite songs. This week, uh, one of our favorite, we, I always have a musical guest with me to sing the songs. And one of our favorite um, uh, uh, guest, musical guest uh, vocalist that comes is Adisa. He was with us last week. He's coming back this oh. week. So if you have a favorite song that you want Adisa to sing or for me to play for you, uh, make sure you join us on Sabbath at 5.30 live on Brenda Wall ministries page on facebook and you'll have to join us raquel yes, for that I and will. i will play your favorite song <laughs> I will, okay I will. well until next time remember boys and girls it's your time to share jesus bye, -bye.